feature. Draw yourself a line. And then I just want you to put a point somewhere. I'll put it right here. If I want to create a line that's parallel, what I have to do is I go to More Tools, Parallel Lines. I need to choose a line to set the slope. We're going to choose this line. We want it to have the same slope. We want it to go through this point. So there's my second line. I'm going to change the color of my second line. Let's just do it in green, I guess. So I know that's my second line. And I'm just going to take all these points and I'm going to hide them. Click on them, press hide. Now I want you to draw me a transversal line. Remember, a transversal line is a line that goes through and intersects two or more lines. Let's change this line to red. That's my transversal. Let's label this point. Let's call this transversal. I'm going to hide this point over here. I don't need it. Okay, first thing I want you to do is I want you to measure. We're going to measure this angle right here. So what I do is I just click on the angle three times. And on my picture, that angle is 31 degrees. Well, if this angle is 31 degrees, how many degrees is this angle? On the opposite side that's called a vertical angle so we know that those for those angles should be exactly the same well if I look they're both 31 degrees well my original angle is 31 degrees how many degrees is this angle going to be over here well these are called corresponding angles and look at what happens when my lines are parallel corresponding angles end up being congruent what angle corresponds with this 31 degrees that's this one down here. Measure that angle. That angle is also 31 degrees. I'm going to change these two angles to orange. And I'm going to change these two angles to green. Now look at this green angle and this orange angle. Well, those are alternate interior angles. And what do you notice about alternate interior angles? They're going to end up being congruent. What about this orange 31 degrees and this green 31 degrees? Well, those are alternate exterior angles. And since the lines are parallel, alternate exterior angles are going to end up being congruent to each other. Now measure the other angles. You should get 149 degrees if your picture is exactly like mine, which yours is not. But what's special about 149 and 31 degrees? Well, that adds up to be 180. Because you have to have a linear pair here. Well, I'm going to take this angle here and make it red. And then this angle down here and make it red. What type of angles are those two red angles? Those are called alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior angles, if the lines are parallel, are going to be congruent. Same thing goes with these two black angles. Alternate interior angles are always going to be congruent. Now, look at this green one, the 31 degrees, and this angle down here, 40, 149 degrees. Those are called consecutive interior angles. And if you notice, con consecutive interior angles are going to be supplementary. Consecutive exterior angles are also going to be Supplementary. I'm going to make all the corresponding angles the same color. And what I want you to do is take a screenshot of this, control shift, and it's the square with the two lines next to it. Just take a screenshot of your picture. Hit copy to clipboard. And go back to here. It's important because it kind of has all the rules. Now, yesterday we talked about, hey, if we have lines we have uh, that are cut by a transversal, we have different types of angle pairs. But if those two lines that are cut by the transversal end up being parallel to each other, 
put that extra arrow on there, that means parallel. Then what that means is that certain angle pairs are going to end up either being congruent or supplementary. So we said that if we have parallel lines cut by transversal, corresponding angles end up being congruent to each other. If we have parallel lines cut by transversal, alternate interior angles ended up being congruent to each other. If we had parallel lines cut by transversal, then alternate exterior angles end up being congruent to each other. If we had parallel lines cut by transversal, the consecutive interior angles ended up being supplementary from our discovery. And if we had parallel lines cut by transversal, the consecutive exterior angles ended up being supplementary as well. These are rules. These are if then statements. So these are my conditional statements. These are rules that you have to know. If you have these three angles, those angles are going to be congruent if the lines are parallel. If you have these two different types of angles down here, the last two, if you have parallel lines cut by transversal, those angles are going to be supplementary. Work on delta math, assignment number three, two. When you work on your delta math, you have to figure out what type of angles they are first, and then you have to figure out, do I set the equations equal to each other, or do I add them together to equal 180?